Uh, hey, I'm finally doing like an actual video, like a content video. It's not just gonna be an edit today. And basically, I'm gonna showcase some macros that I made. Uh, the first macro I'm showing today is called Selective CC. And you just plug it into your fusion. And you can use the dropper to select a color. And so once you select your color at the bottom, there is all of these color correction settings. And the color correction will only affect the color you selected. You can make the saturation up or down. Change the hue, contrast. And it'll only affect that color. And if you want to change like the threshold, you could always use this. Next is a masking tool. It's called Ngon. So originally, um, the reason I made this is because there's a tr uh, the triangle mask that DaVinci has pre-made is like really bad in my opinion because uh, instead of it being like an actual triangle you s drag each point and it's, it's not a perfect triangle but if you use Ngon you can have any shape actually it could be a square uh, a pentagon a hexagon the triangle is actually even there's all the options like a regular uh, mask would have invert the angle height width soft edge solid border width uh, position is if you have the border width and so basically it'll move it and uh, there's the x offset y offset and it's, it's actually pretty useful in my opinion because it's nice to have a tool that will let you have a triangle because you know basic one sucks then there's also a square it's the same thing uh, just it's for replacing the rectangle it doesn't really replace it because the rectangle it has a aspect ratio it's the same like that's a matches the composition so it'll if if you did one on all of them it'll be 16 by 9 well that's because i have a 16 by 9 composition but if you use a square it'll actually be like an even square so you give it one it'll be a square lastly i want to show opacity mask tool so basically if you want to have change the opacity I mean, it's really easy but it's just it was just annoying to have to do this to change the opacity this is the only way I know there's also the dissolve node but if you do this you could change the opacity like this but it's just pre-made and it's clear if you change the opacity and also if you have like a text here you can it, it'll mask the text too so the white input right there is used for mask so if I write right click distress I can use my square and it'll mask everything so it'll also mask the text it'll, it'll recognize this as just one media in like one input so it'll mask everything. So it's half. If you didn't do this and you just had it on here, then the text would still be there. It's just a little simple thing. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll make a drive link and it'll be all in the description. If there are some problems, uh, just comment them and I'll try to help fix it.